Hi, everybody. Welcome to Lawless TV, the place to be if you want to get inspired to do what you like and make money with it. And I have the right person here for you to help you with that. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Hi, Andrew. It's amazing to be here. I'm great at the moment, and I thank you so much for inviting me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be here with you. Awesome. I was wondering if I should invite you, right? For <laughs> Well, for a number of reasons. A, we both speak German, right? Yes. So I think what we want to go to do, we, 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 we will have a, a little of experiment, right? So we will conduct this in German uh, and English. So however that works, right? So if you're German speaking, so when you're Deutsch sprich, yeah, also es wird auch Deutsch gesprochen hier, ja? Richtig so, Sonja, oder nicht? Ja, genau, ist richtig. Ja, mein Deutsch ist besser als meins, aber wir werden es schon irgendwie hinkriegen. Ja? So, okay, so her German genau. is better than mine. We, we're going we, 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 we are, we are, we are, we to make it work. But Sonja, uh, you are a life success coach. And um, it's the other reason why I didn't know if I wanted to talk to you <laughs> is because uh, we're doing the same thing, right? So you empower people uh, to you know, make money with what they love, right? Um, so tell me a little bit, so how do you do that? How do I do that? So listen, I, I have to start a bit earlier because um, I'm on this journey of personal development um, since over four years now. Also, Sonja Weitsch macht das schon seit vier Jahren, ja? oder auch du bist ja, du bist ja auch der Entdeckungstour, okay? Ja. <lacht> Now, in, initially, I started to overcome my own fears. So when I studied architecture, and this is about 15 years ago, I had a breakdown. So I suffered from panic attacks, from fear, from dep depression, and that really knocked me out for a while. So what was the breakdown? So, so, so depressive first, yeah? Was war, was war der breakdown? What was, the break, what was the breakdown of your depression? Yeah, the breakdown was, I was such a perfectionist. I, I hustled, I, I did so much, I, I worked a lot. And my breakdown was that I, I, I couldn't move any longer. I had this panic attack, the first one, and I, I felt this fear. And I, I was so overwhelmed that I wasn't able to manage my, my daily stuff. So was, what exactly was so overwhelming? Also was genau hat dir so viel Sorgen gemacht? I was so afraid um, of, of failure. I was so afraid I'm not good enough. I was so afraid I, I would not be able to achieve my goals. And so many things came around and, yeah, crushed me like a wave. Okay, but, so how did you recognize? Because, like, depression comes in, like, in, uh, 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 like gently, right? So then suddenly you're at, the, you, you're at that low, right? So, also Depression entwickelt sich ja langsam. Um, was war der Moment, wo der klar war, um, das ist nicht richtig oder das ist nicht das, was du willst? So, what was the moment you realized, I, yes, I'm depressed, I, need to do it. I, I, I don't feel well, uh, and I need to do something about it? Yeah, listen, there, there have been any signs, some signs, and I didn't want to, to realize, to recognize. It was on the, the physical um, base. Yeah, my, my body showed me that I did too much and that I, I hustled a lot, but I, I didn't want to see it. So um, at Can this... Explain that to me real quick. So, so when you say your body showed you, so, also when you said that my, my Körper had me signals given, yeah. what does that mean? So how does that how does that feel? For example, my my heart beat it very very fast and quick at some times. Um, I felt very tired. Um, I felt um, yeah the first signs of fear when I was working when I was studying. Um, I really wanted to to be one of the best. I wanted to do, to to do my things very well, and um, I. Yeah, I've seen that something something went wrong, but I wasn't able to really see what it is at that point. So what enabled you to see it? <laughs> this day when the panic attack came. This day when the panic attack came in such a strong way that I wasn't able to move any longer. So what's this, explain to me what a panic attack is. But I, I, I picture it that way because I had those moments, right, where 
where I was like sitting on a sofa, was watching something, and suddenly, like, you know, one negative thought after the other stacks up, and I go, like, oh, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make enough money, I'm gonna push my family to despair, right? Uh, and then, and then you know this spiral, you know this spiral, and it, it, it does not end. You know, it, it came to that point that I really thought I have to die. Honestly, there was something that, that took me my, my breath and I, I wasn't able to, to go out. I, I was so like freaking out in that moment and I haven't felt that before. So I really very fast, I went to the doctor because I, I just needed help. I knew it. I knew it at that point. So, so when you say doctor, was it like a psychiatrist, psychiatrist, or a, a, a phys- general practitioner, physician, or what, what was your case? Neurologe, I don't know. Um, Neurologist, there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, and um, initially, I, here, right? so, <laughs> initially, initially I had to take um, I had to take medicine just to 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 get calmer, to get to that point where I was able to manage all the stuff and then i i went to a psychotherapist so we're not here like neither you nor i can give medical advice right but in so take notice of note of that here when you when you when you're watching right so no medical advice here and and whatsoever right so but in your opinion your personal opinion um were those medications helpful or would with knowing what you now know would you would you say that there could have been uh, different solutions through meditation or whatever. Don't get me wrong. Looking back, it was exactly what I needed because um, at that point I would not have been open for for coaching um, because it felt like inside of me I wasn't able to to get a clear thought. I I really needed something just to to breathe again just to to see the world clearer and um, look from that point, where do I have to go? Where do I have to go to to get healthy again and um, to to get out of this um, this suffer? It was just just a suffer. Yeah, and uh, that's that's very interesting to me, right? Because I I'm very skeptical of psychiatrists and I'm very skeptical of the pharma industry, and uh, you know all that like. like ADHD is the, is the latest fad. Like you know, when when uh, everybody, if if they cannot dis- if they cannot diagnose anything uh, in terms of your behavior, you have ADHD, right? And then you get pills, and you never get off of them, right? So so how did you manage? Because you managed that, right? And I and, and I find that totally fascinating. So describe to me first, like you know, how that felt when you were able to calm down. And what was the process to come to get off of those medications, if you offer them at all? Yeah, I think the process was, and um, initially I needed to 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 have someone who tells me what is happening in my body, because for me it was something I I couldn't really grab. So it was um, it was like there was this fear of freaking out really of freaking out and um, the psychotherapy helped me um, to see it on a biochemical way just what's happen happening in your body what can you do when something like a panic attack comes because at some point it it gets to to something like you are afraid of the fear so it's like a spiral and um, it helped me to manage my day. It helped me to, to get to a point where I was able to live my life. But don't get me wrong, um, I needed this psychotherapy, but I was still skydiving under the carpet. You know, I, I saw so many things others were able to do, like traveling alone, like moving to another city, and I wasn't. And from that point on, I was searching for something else. And that was four years ago. So I decided to, to walk on this path of personal development because I wanted to expand my horizon and I wanted to really play full out. What was that aha moment where you said, you know what, enough, you know, I need to be on a different path? Enough of suffering. Yeah, I really felt how, um, how I looked at other people. 
how I was craving for, for having a life um, really fulfilled and where I took the responsibility for what I do. And um, at that point, I was open to, I was open to it. And immediately, I met amazing people who brought me to exactly that. For example, my first mentor and teacher who gave me advice where to go. I went to my first seminars, to my first events here in Germany. Last year, I went to, to Tony Robbins the first time in New York. And really, I figured out so many things that worked for me. And it, it didn't take long when I realized I want to give that back. I really felt how empowering it is to give back what worked for me and to empower other people to work as a coach. And, you know, this year I realized um, I was already working as a coach for my first mentor and teacher. And there was this calling. I, I heard it so loud. You know, maybe you, you know what I mean. This calling um, that said, I have to grow my own business. I have to step up. I have to, to bring my heart message into the world and um, to give others the opportunity. And um, yeah. To well, totally right and that's true for most coaches right they become coaches because they have overcome certain obstacles either with or without help right uh, then they have analyzed to some kind to some degree how did they get out of there right and and then have that urge to serve other people uh, to, to, to to get through or to experience the same transformation just with less struggle and guided and safer and, and most of all faster right yeah. so um so you've done that and and you were you were, you were by, by trade you were like an architect right yes yes i'm working as an architect so um over 10 years now um i know how tough it is to work in the corporate field yeah I know how tough it is to work as a construction manager um, in a leading position to, to manage a 25 million project. I know it. And I know how tough it is to work with many different people to communicate with them and to realize that these people are standing at very different points in their life. So I really love what I'm doing and this coaching thing, um, I know that this is my zone of genius. Okay, so you fix yourself, right? You, you uh, analyze what happened, you build a program, you educated yourself on uh, you know, coaching practices and so on, right? So um, how do you help now? So what, what do you do to help people that, were, that are in, in, in the position that you were in yeah. uh, just make it easier for them? Yeah. So this year, as I told you, I realized I, I have to grow my own business. And I realized that it was me standing in my own way. So I was asking myself, am I good enough? Do I have everything I need? Do, am I really prepared in a perfect way? And honestly, you cannot be. So what you really need to achieve your goals is you have to take massive action. And the only thing you really need to know is where do you want to be? Which person do you want to be? You have to know exactly and very clear what your vision is. And believe me, the doors will open when you step out, when you step out and, and make your first steps towards your goal. The universe has your back. And it's... Honestly, it's science. It's like if you want to warm something up, you, you turn the oven on and it gets, it gets um, hotter. If you put something in the refrigerator, it gets colder. So it's like on this frequency you are sending, you are getting the results. If you are asking yourself, how can I get there? Do I have anything? Oh, I'm not good enough. Maybe oh, those thoughts are like, like totally useless, right? So, so here's, here, like for everybody on the call also, right? On the call, on the, on the, who watches the video. Um, and you can do that too, right? So just, just so that we can demonstrate it, right? So, Sonia, think about like real hard about um, a problem right now that you want to solve. So think about it real hard. 
I'm thinking about it. Okay. Did anything happen? <laughs> so if you had farted, right, then maybe like your cat or whoever else is in the room would have moved. So you know something would have happened. So your farts are actually more successful, that are more, more effective than, than than your thoughts, right? So and that puts things in perspective. And 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 our thoughts are like, have you ever farted? Have you ever smelled somebody fart and um, what do you say? I, have you ever heard somebody fart? Fart? What is fart? Oops. Oh, yes. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever smelled some, somebody else's fart and you said, oh, that stinks? Yes. <laughs> and then you, you smelled like, then you smelled your own and you were thinking, it's not so bad. <laughs> yeah? Have you or no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's exactly what happens to our thoughts, right? We're like, those are our own farts and like, it's not so bad, even though they stink, right? So, uh, and we also know they, 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 they don't do anything but bring you down. And in order to get out of that, you need, we need to take action, right? Yeah. And that's, I know what you do, right? That's precisely yeah. what you do. And you have to ask smarter questions. Yeah, you, you have to know very clear where you want to be because in this case, when you step up, when you say, okay, how can I achieve it? And how may it come to me easily? You step up from this lower frequency on a higher frequency. And so you are ready and open to see the doors getting open because then you are, you're sending on a higher frequency and the results are in comparison to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And then you don't have to know the way. Because many people are stuck because they think I, I have to know where I have to go. The only thing you can do is you don't have to do it alone. So search someone who is at least one step ahead, who has gone the way you want to go. And I don't believe in coincidences. So if you're watching this and you think, oh my goodness, maybe this is the sign I needed. And maybe it's not me, but search a coach, search someone who can get you there. Well, I guess what you wanted to say is like, contact you, right? Because you are that coach. Um, if you guys are in Germany and speak German, um, so you can see like Sonia can do it both, right? She's more politically correct than I am. So I talk about farting and pooping all the time. Uh, <laughs> Sonia is more civilized, I guess. <laughs> so, but, Maybe but, it's like that. <laughs> so if, if, if I wanted to get coached by you, so, so where can people reach you? Oh, it's, it's very easily. Um, DM me on Facebook. Because when you're watching this, you are um, a Facebook member. So contact me directly and we can jump on a phone call um, and find out if we match together. And, and what will our YouTube users and uh, LinkedIn viewers, you know, what will they do? Um, they can send me an email. Yes. And I'm pretty sure you will link it um or like the, exactly wherever you watch it yeah you will put it there 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 like uh, somewhere you know there is going to be a link to either sonia's profile or her information so um if you feel like you know you're you're you're, you're stuck and you're about to panic right so don't let it go that far that you get so stuck that it takes you longer because the more you get stuck the longer the deeper you're stuck the the the, the longer it takes to get out right so if you feel like you you you're somewhere on that path and you want coaching in germany and you want to for some of the best you know then uh here sonia sonia is right here right so sonia thank you very much for for coming on the show it was and a pleasure I I my friend thank you so much you too. I know we will have you. Uh, we will have you uh, again soon. And um, in the meanwhile, you know, you can also hear when you're when you're when you're out there. Leave comments. Right. Contact Sonia. Take action. Yes, um, everything you want. And uh, I, I think you will meet with them once, right? For for free. Is that what it is? Or yes, yes. We have a strategy call just to figure out if we fit together. What stands in your way exactly at that moment, and what are your Big, hairy, audacious goals. <laughs> okay, so strategy call with uh, Sonia. And between now and then, 
right? Remember to live, to matter, and stay amazing. Okay, bye. Where is it here? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye.